I got to try out all the characters in Zenless Zone Zero. The Hoyoverse booth was not allowing direct capture at Anime Expo, so I apologize in advance for the shaky camera recording. And I'll just be focusing about the combat. Early impressions is really fun and really fluid. The game runs at a smooth 60 FPS and the speed of the enemies feels great. And the animations are quite bouncy as well. So far, there are 12 playable characters and I put them in 3 archetypes. Quick Melee, Slow Melee, and Quick Range. Most of them fall under the Quick Melee category. They attack fast, have far dodges, and feels very responsive. They do lots of quick combos and are a blast to watch. There's only one character that is a slow melee, and that's Ben the Bear. His walk speed is slower and his dash is pretty tiny, it's like a little hop. But he's very tanky, and he has a cool looking counter. Lastly, there's the quick range unit that can keep attacking enemies from afar. They are just as effective in melee range, so there's nothing stopping you from playing them as a quick melee either. You just get the extra option to keep shooting at a distance. Here's how the combo and combat flows. You got normal attacks that look and feel different depending on your character. And while you're in combat, your special meter fills up automatically over time. And once that meter goes above this little marker here, your next special attack will be powered up. Even without meter, you can spam the E special as much as you want. It has no cooldowns, but using an EX special does do more damage and adds an extra special effect, like this freezing kick with Lycone. Some specials are a single press, while others can be held down or be part of a longer chain. And using EX specials will build your resonance or ultimate. In ZZZ, the ultimate is shared across the team. So when one character uses it, the resonance resets and you gotta build it back again. Another cool looking mechanic is when the enemy gets staggered. Their stagger bar is the orange one under the health. And once the stagger is full, they will be disabled and you can do something called a chain attack. Each team member will tag in and essentially do mini ultimates, which looks very stylish. You can pick the order your party comes in, and I'm guessing the last attack will probably do more damage than the first one. During normal combat, you can switch characters whenever, and you can also tag in another character when you get hit. And when your tag button is flashing because you got hit, switch and they will do an incoming attack. There's also the dodge. When you dodge an attack, you get a little witch time and can unleash a counter attack. Enemies will also flash red to indicate a big attack is coming. However, if you are used to Genshin timing, then you better relearn since the attack in ZZZ is much more delayed. Each character feels similar to play. Once you get the offensive and defensive systems down, you can be stylish with anyone. But at the same time, each character also feels unique enough to stand out on their own. Their ultimates are quick and flashy, and the combat just feels really fun to play. I'm looking forward to play more Zenless Zone Zero when it eventually comes out, but only for the PC. I'm not sure if I want to play an action heavy game on mobile, but you can definitely count me in to try out this game.